Welcome to another Nightingale Software world-class production presented in conjunction with Flux System. Computer Classroom, English at Home. Hey, Walt, open up. Is that you, Al? It's about time you got here. Come on in. We're about to get started. Click on your name, then click on the select button. Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Little Bumble Bears Let's Play. I'm Kristen and I am here with English at Home. We're going to be learning some English. I hope you enjoy. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Do you remember the learning software from Nightingale? Let me know. And of course, subscribe for more nostalgic gaming. Check out the playlist in the description box to see other Let's Plays on this channel that you might enjoy. I have a Twitter and Instagram you can follow and a Discord you're welcome to join. The links are down below. Let's begin learning. Enjoy. Type your name. Then press it. Click on Go to start the next unit or a unit you might like to try. Click on Resume to return to the last lesson you worked on. You may click on Me to change students. Where was my mother? Where was my mother? <laughs> Where was my mother? Where was my mother? Help the baby animals find their mother. Click and move the baby animals to their mother. Terrific! Click on Go to do some more, or click on Redo to have another turn. Oops! Someone has dropped the cooler, and all the food has fallen out. Can you put all the food back into the cooler? Good work! The apple, grapes, pear, orange and banana are all fruit that we eat. That's really good. Click on Go to have some different fun or click Redo to try this lesson again. Click on the scene that goes with each object. Where do I belong? Where do I belong? Terrific! Click on Go to do some more, or click on Redo to have another turn. <laughs> click on the animal that might be the heaviest. <laughs> click on the animal that can fly. Click on the animal whose neck is very long. <coughs> Click on the animal who lives on a farm. <coughs> you 
You are very good at this. Click on Go to do some more, or you can click on Redo. You're doing really well. Unit 2. Simple sentences. Click the Rewind button on the remote to do that lesson again. Or click the Play button on the remote to go to the next lesson. I will read these words and you can read them with me. Pig, duck, cat, dog. Here are four sentences with pictures and, and four words in the word bag. Swap each picture with the word that it belongs to to complete each sentence. Click on a picture, then click on the matching word. Pig. This is a pig. Pig. This is a dog. 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 This is a duck. Duck. This is a cat. Cat. <laughs> Mouse, fish, rabbit, lion. Swap each picture with the word that it belongs to. This is a lion. Lion. This is a mouse. Mouse. This is a fish. Fish. This is a rabbit. Rabbit. <laughs> Terrific! Click on Go to do some more, or click on Redo to have another turn. The bird can fly, jump, swim. Can you find the word to complete this sentence? The bird can. Click on the word to complete this sentence. Lie. The bird can lie. Can you find the word to complete this sentence? The dolphin can. Click on the word to complete this sentence. Swim. The dolphin can swim. Can you find the word to complete this sentence? The frog can. Click on the word to complete this. Jump. The frog can jump. Can you find the word to complete this sentence? The fish can. Click on the word to complete this sentence. Swim. The fish can swim. The plane can. Click on the word to complete this sentence. Lie. The plane can lie. Aren't you clever? Click Go to do some more, or click on Redo to see this lesson again. Boy. Girl. My name is Daisy. My name is Tarlin. My name is Cool. My name is Danny. I am a girl. I'm a girl. I'm a boy. I'm a boy. Look at the children. Click on the first child, then click on the sentence to match. Do the same for the next child. Do the same for the next child.
Click on the children that match this sentence. Click on the children that match this sentence. You learn quickly. Click on go to continue or if you... Click on each picture to hear the word below it read. Girl, bear, boy, snail, pig, cow. Girl, cow, boy, pig, snail. Click the word that best fits this sentence. Read the sentence aloud or to someone near you. Then click on Go to continue. Woo. I am a girl. Boy. Read the sentence aloud. Snail. Bear. Pig. Cow. Terrific. Click on go to do some more or You're doing really well. Unit 3. Story paths. Click the rewind button on the remote to do that lesson again. Or click the play button on... Click on one word in each group along the story path to write a story. I will write one for you, then I will read it. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men could not put Humpty together again. Click on one word in each group along the story path to write. Read your story. Click on the book for help. Click on go when you are finished. Humpty Dumpty sat on the fence. Humpty Dumpty had a great drink. All the Aborigine horses and all the Aborigine men could not put Humpty together again. Well done. Now select another path to write a story. Read your story. Click on the book for help. Click on go when you are finished. That's really good. Click on go to have some different fun or click redo to... Click on one word in each group along the story path. I will write one for you. Then I will read it. Jack and Jill went up the hill to get a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Click on one word in each group along the story path to write a story. Read your story. Click on the book for help. Click on go when you are finished. Jack and Jill went along the play to get a glass of drink. Jack stood down and broke his arm and Jill came skateboarding after. 
Well... Read your story. Terrific. Click on Go to do some more, or click on Redo to have another turn. Click on one word in each group along the story path to write a story. I will write one for you, then I will read. Ba ba black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Three bags full. One for the master, one for the dame, and one for the little boy who lives down the lane. Click on one word in each group along the story story path to write a story. Ba ba black sheep, have you any drink? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Six bags full. One for the girl, one for the master, and one for the little boy who lives on the lake. Well done. Now, sir, so select another path to write a story. Terrific! Click on Go to do some more, or click on... Click on one word in each group along the story. I will write one for you, then I will read it. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Everywhere Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Click on one word in each group along the story path to write a story. Read your story. Mary had a fat chicken. Its fleece was blue as snow. Everywhere that Mary went, the chicken was sure to go. Well done. Read your story. You learn quickly. Click. Excellent work. Unit 4. Using the mouse. Click the rewind button on the remote to do that lesson again. Or click the play button. Help finish building the factory roof by joining the lows and highs. Click on each circle in order to complete the roof. You are very good at this. Click on Go to do some more, or you can click on Redo to do this lesson again. Help the fish take the worm off each hook. Click on the first hook and watch the fish. Click on the next worm to help the fish with its dinner. Click on the next worm to help the fish with its dinner.
You are very good at this. Click on Go to do some more, or you can click on Redo to do this lesson again. Change the color of each stripe on the snake. Click on the stripes in order. Start at the tail. <coughs> Terrific! Click on Go to do some more, or click on Redo to have another turn. Follow the path through the maze. Click on each corner in order to help and reach the pot of gold. That's really good. Click on Go to have some different fun, or click Redo to try this lesson again. Oh boy! Top work! Unit 5, Awareness and Logic. Click the Rewind button on the remote to do that lesson again, or click the Play button... <laughs> click on the biggest boat. This time, click on the smallest boat. You are very good at this. Click on Go to do some more, or you can click on Redo to do this lesson again. Click on the ones that can be easily moved. Terrific! Click on Go to do some more, or click on Redo to have another turn. <coughs> click on the one that might carry the most people. <coughs> click on the one that will carry the least number of people. <coughs> Aren't you clever? Click Go to do some more, or click on Redo to see this lesson again. Click on all the light things. Correct! Click the heaviest one of all. You learn quickly. Click on Go to continue, or if you like, click on Redo to have another... T Excellent work! Unit 6. Story Paths. Click the Rewind. <laughs> Click on one word in each group along the story path to write a story. I will write one for you, then I will read it. <laughs> My sister is little. She is a kind girl. I love her. Click on one word in each group along the story path to write a story. Read your story. Click on the book for help. Well done! Now select another path and write a story. Click on different words in each group along the path.
Read your story. Click on the book for help. Click on Go when you are finished. Well done! Now select another path and... Read your story. Click on the... Try one more path to write another story. Read your story. Click on the book for help. You're doing really well. Unit 7, Story Paths. Click the rewind button on... Click on one box in each group along the path to write a story. You can have fun with these story paths. I'll select one, then I'll read it. The little lonely wolf chased everything. He chased huge elephants so he could talk to them. When he chased a car, he could not drive it. Select another path to write a story. Read your story. The happy hungry wolf chased everything. He chased small rabbits so he could eat them. When he chased a plane, he could not fly it. Well... Read your story. Try one more path. Read your story. You are... Great. There's no stopping you now. Unit 8, Story Paths. Click the rewind button on the remote to do that lesson again. Or click the play button. Watch me write a story, then I will read it. I have a pet horse. It lives in a stable. She likes to eat hay. My horse likes to run and jump. Write a story. Click on one word in each group along the story path. Read your story. I have a pet horse. It lives in a stable. He likes to eat. Hey, my horse likes to play with me. Excellent. Now write another. Read your story. Excellent. Now write another story. Read your story. Click on the book if you would like me to read it. Click on Go when you have finished. Try one more path to write another story. Read your story. Click on the book if you would like me to read it. Click on Go when you have finished. That's really good. Excellent work! Unit 9, Days of the Week. Click the Rewind button on the remote. Click on Days of the Week in order, beginning at Sunday. Good work. Now click on the day it is today to help write this sentence.
Read the sentence, then click on Go at the top of the screen. Today is Sunday. You are very good at this. Click on Go to do some more, or you can click on Redo to do this lesson again. Click on the day of the week that is flashing. Then click on the word outline it will best fit into. Wednesday. As each day of the week flashes, click on it. Then match it to its outline. Thursday. Monday. Friday. You are clever. Now read the days of the week in order. Click on Go when you've finished. Aren't you clever? Click Go to do some more or click on Redo to see this lesson again. Click on the day that will make this sentence true. Ooh, well done! Now read the sentence. Click on Go to continue. You may click on the book to have the sentence read for you. Click on the days that will make this sentence true. Well done! Now read the sentence. Click on Go to continue. You may click on the book to have the sentence read for you. Click on the day that will make this sentence true. Ooh, well done! Now read the sentence. Click on Go to continue. You may click on the day that will make. Ooh, well done! No That's really good. Click on go to have some different fun, or click redo to. Try <laughs> click on the school days in the week to complete the sentence. Terrific! Now read the sentence, click on Go to continue. You may click on the book if you need help. Terrific! Click on Go. First class, how about some more? Unit 10, colors. Click the re. Click on the brown palette to color this balloon. Click on the black palette to color this balloon. Use the gray palette to color this one. Click on the pink palette to color this balloon.
Click on white to keep this balloon the same color. Click on the tan colored palette. You are very good at this. Click on go to do some more or you can click on redo. Color each section of the grub. Click on one section of grub, then... You are very good at this. You're doing really well. Unit 11, Research. Click the re Help Simon to eat a healthy breakfast. Click on the book to find out more about healthy food. Every day we should eat food from the five main food groups. We should eat lots of breads and cereal. As well, we should have fruit and vegetables. We need meat, fish or eggs to help us grow and milk cheese and yogurt to make our bones and teeth strong. Foods such as lollies, chips and soft drinks are nice, but we should only eat them now and again. Click on the healthy foods. Aren't you clever? Click go to do some more or click on redo to see this lesson again. Help Simon to eat a healthy lunch. Click on the book to find out. If we should eat as food, click on the. That's really good. Click on go to have some different fun. Help Simon to eat a healthy if we, as we, foods. Click on the healthy food. You learn quickly. Click on go to continue or if you like, click on redo to have another turn. Click on the flashing object, then click on the word that tells us what it is made from. This bottle is made from glass. Well done! This chair is made from wood. That's right! This jug is made from plastic. Well done. This writing pad is made from paper. This cupboard is made from wood. This drinking glass is made from glass. Well done. These scissors are made from metal and plastic. That's correct. This pot is made from metal. This jar is made from glass and has a metal lid. Well done. This magazine is made from paper. This spoon is made from metal. This fork is made from plastic. Aren't you clever? Click go to do some more or click on re- Oh boy! 
Hey, top work. Unit 12, Story Pub. Click the re- You can have fun with this story. I'll write one for you, then I will read it. The bear hid behind a large rock so he could play with his toys. One cold day, a rabbit came to share his food. Click on one box in each group along the path to write a story. Read your story. Click on the frog hid in the green leaves so he could have a sleep. One cold day, a tiger came to play. Select another. Read your story. Select another. Read your story. Try one more. Read your story. Who oh boy! Top work! Unit 13, months of the year. Click the rewind. <laughs> Click on the months of the year in order. Click on the month needed to complete this sentence. Christmas occurs in the month of Christmas occurs in the month of December. Easter occurs in this year. Uh-oh, have another try. Easter occurs in April this year. The fourth month of the year is... The fourth month of the year is April. The first month of the year is... The first month of the year is January. The second last month of the year is... The second last month of the year is November. Aren't you clever? Click Go to do some more, or click on Redo to see this lesson again. As each month of the year highlights, Click on the outline, it will be.
are clever. That's really good. Click on the month that best fits this sentence. December. New Year's Day occurs in January. Valentine's Day is the 14th of February. June is the sixth month of the year. The month before December is November. Oops, sorry. The eighth month of the year is August. You learn. Great, there's no stopping you now. Unit 14, punctuation. Click the rewind button. What is your name? I am Simon. What is your How old are you? I am seven. How old are you? Questions need question What is your name? Type a question mark so you can complete this sentence. You will need to hold the shift key. How old are you? Where do you live? Do you want to play? Would you like to play cricket? Do you want to use my bat? You learn quick. The sentences on the screen need capital letters and question marks. Click, Click on the capital. Click on the cap. Very Read this story about busy children. Click on the book so I can read it with you. Tom has red hair and likes playing tennis. Jan often leaves her lunchbox at school. Lee is good at drawing animals. Sue caught a fish with her new fishing rod and line. Kim saved his pocket money and bought a cricket bat. Ali has brown eyes and is Tara's friend. Who caught a fish? Click on the name of the child who went fishing. Who is Tara's friend? Click on the name of the child. Who is good at drawing? Click who bought a cricket bat? Click on the name of the child. Who likes playing tennis? Click on the name of the ch Who leaves things behind? Click on Aren't you clever? Click go. You're doing really well. Unit 16. Classifying. Click the... This classifying activity is just for fun. Click on a picture.
That's really good. You're doing really well. Unit 17. Game. Concentration. Click the re- See if you can match two cards that are the same. Well done. You have found... That's really good. Click on go to have some... Oh boy! Top work! Unit 18. Game Jigsaw. Click the rewind button. Click on Click on a shape. Terrific! Click on Go! Congratulations! You have successfully completed Computer Classroom English at Home. You might like to select other units from the menu to try again. Click on Go to start the next unit or a unit you might like to try. Click on Resume to return to the last... Congratulations! You have successfully completed Computer Classroom English at Home. You might like to select other units from the menu to try again. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed English at Home. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on my future uploads. Remember, you are special and loved. You are never alone. You're always welcome to come back and hang out anytime. Until the next video, God bless. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye, everyone.